All right, here we are at our approximately 610 square feet floating cabin. This is constructed on roughly about a 20 by 65 foot monolithic frame, which is going to be the entire structure, the entire footprint that the cabin is on. The cabin itself, um, exterior dimensions measures in at about 15 feet by 45 feet. Uh, but again, it is approximately uh, 610 square feet of living space. And then included with it is an attached dock of roughly about uh, 15 by 26 feet. And it has about a uh, 5 foot, um, 5 by 12 foot um, storage shed with about a um, uh, some additional covered space. Uh, let's see, I think about a uh, about 11 by 12 foot uh, covered uh, patio right there. And then we've got um, over here uh, connected to the cabin, we've got also a uh, nice covered patio. Uh, that's about 8 by 15 foot covered patio over here. We have our video walkthrough tour as usual. You will find the uh, full list of specifications, features, current asking price, and all that good stuff all over our website. Now for your convenience down in the video description, there will be a direct link to the listing page for this one at our website, which is where you're gonna find all of that information. So uh, we're saving you um, some trouble. That link's gonna be there for your convenience. All you gotta do is, is uh, drop down below the video, there's gonna be a written description. And in that written description, there will be a direct link to the listing page. Um, you copy and paste that link or click on that, open up a new tab, web browser, whatever you like. Um, and then that's going to take you basically to a photo slideshow page. We're going to have a printable PDF with a full list of uh, features, specifications. We'll probably have um, a shot of the TBA uh, dimensions on that uh, printable PDF as well. And of course, there'll also be a link back to this YouTube video tour that you're watching right now. Um, and in addition to all those things, you're also going to see the current asking price, all of our contact information. If you get to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, we do like to remind you if you uh, get our voicemail, keep in mind we're very frequently in areas without cell phone reception. So if you will take the time, leave us a detailed message, let us know which list you're looking at, what questions you have. As soon as we either finish with the customer or return to the sales service area, we'll receive your message, return your call, answer all those questions for you. Um, and of course, if you send us an email through our website as well, uh, keep in mind that a large uh, rate of our emails do land in uh, people's spam folders. So if it's been one business day, you have not gotten an email reply, please check your spam folder. It's likely right there. So, all right, we're going to move along with our video tour here. Um, here on the exterior, um, again, under this kind of this covered space right here, we do have a ceiling fan and a uh, small Frigidaire electric refrigerator. Uh, we've got two grills, some patio furniture all staying out here. And we've also got some large storage lockers uh, just on the other side of, uh, of a golf cart. Now, the, that golf cart is not included, uh, but also a, a good reminder for me to, uh, to point out that this cabin is connected to a marina walkway, which is connected to shore. So you do not need another boat to get out to this one. You can simply park your car, walk right down to where this one's located. Um, this slip is, is uh, transferable, as in the buyer will have the option to keep it right here. You do have shore power and water right here in this, in this slip. And as you can see, we've got some fenders out over here on this side. You've got a nice large uh, space right here for, uh, for parking um, your boat uh, whenever you are here on the weekends. This, this space right here is going to be about 15 feet uh, wide by oh, roughly about 45 um, yeah, about 40, 45 feet long. So. Um, but all right, we'll uh, we'll stop back in on this um, this storage shed on the on the way back. Let's go ahead and head inside. Uh, patio furniture that you're seeing out here is included. Uh, I think I mentioned that as well as those grills. Uh, so really nice mix of of covered space and shaded uh, space, all kind of right here in a common area uh, along uh, adjacent to that marina walkway. Uh, we've also got a five step swim boarding ladder uh, right over here as well. Good mix of patio furniture, some rod holders, some tie-up cleats. So yeah, that's five steps from boarding ladder right there. Uh, we do have a side entry over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you in through our um, through our covered patio right here uh, as we enter this one. Now there's our, there will be some personal effects that will be excluded uh, from this one, but uh, we're gonna try to only talk about the items that are included. Now uh, we just stepped inside. A, um, a dual pane um, that is a uh, aluminum frame uh, but it is a dual pane sliding uh, glass patio door and then we do have aluminum um, 
frame windows that are single pane. We've got those throughout. We've got new ceiling fans throughout. Um, this is about a, a 40 inch Samsung LCD television. It's got a uh, DVD player and a, uh, a Sony um, stereo receiver connected to that. We've got speakers. Um, well, we've got some large speakers right here on either side of the television. Um, two more back over here and on this side of the room. And then there's going to be two more on the far other end of the cabin right here. So you can have uh, kind of some um, zoned um, stereo throughout this one. Uh, we've got some wall paneling. Now right here in the roof you see um, essentially what used to be a, um, a small little chimney from an old, uh, from an old stove. I'm not sure if that was a gas or a wood burning stove, but uh, you can also kind of see the little uh, linoleum. How's that? Actually, that is uh, that's tile right there. There's a small little tile cut out right there um, in this room where that um, that used to be located. And then these two futons are are going to be remaining with it here. And we've got a small little cut out over here for your there's your Sony L receiver that I made reference to earlier. DVD player right there as well. And that's going to be an LG 8000 BTU um, window air conditioning unit. And then we've got a doorway right here we're going to walk on through. This is going to lead us into our kitchen area. Now over here we've got uh, some more of that tiled floor in, um, in the kitchen area. We've got a nice large uh, stainless counter with the uh, integrated stainless sink. Now this is going to be a Kenmore gas four burner oven and range. That's a GE microwave. We've got a coffee maker, toaster oven, and this would be a Kenmore um, electric refrigerator freezer. Um, all your appliances are, are remaining. Ceiling fan overhead as well. We've got about seven feet five inches of, uh, of headroom in this one. And then over here on our uh, the hallway side of the cabin over here, we've got a 20,000 BTU propane wall mount heater. We've also got GE dehumidifier in here as well. Electric panel is going to be right over here. Now uh, there's a small little storage closet um, right in this corner right here. This is going to be the back side of where that uh, stereo cabinet was. You've got some of your television equipment in there as well. And there's that electric panel and then we've got a nice little large kind of integrated um, dining table slash bar area do you have some um, some attic access right right here and I'm going to head on around near our um, side entry exit um, now this is a uh, insulated uh, uh, window in that uh, entry door and here is our um, our bathroom our full bath got a small little vanity sink this is going to be a moraine head with a 125 gallon waste holding tank and then we've got a small walk-in shower right here two integrated medicine cabinets for storage we've got a um, vent overhead. I believe that also has an uh, optional uh, heat strip in that as well. I believe this cabin at one time was, was used as a uh, full-time liveaboard. Uh, this is a TVA registered floating cabin and it uh, we didn't touch on it yet but this does have all the new style encapsulated styrofoam flotation throughout the uh, the entire exterior of this one um, that's going to include the cabin and the side dock so let me step back here so uh, this is going to be leading down to our uh, first of two bedrooms we've got kind of this same hallway that's going to continue down along this side of the cabin and then we've got um, essentially a raised surface area right here small little ladder going up this is going to be our first of two uh, loft beds. This is a twin size loft bed. Now 
of the center uh, point, uh, the high point in this loft area right here. It's going to be about six feet of uh, headroom, six feet of clearance. Um, now, with the exception of this beam, we do have this, this beam right um, here in the middle area. That beam's going to be about four feet of clearance. So you are going to have to uh, to duck for that one if you're not a uh, a child. But uh, let me get you a look here. We've got some uh, some railing up over here. Neat little space up here. Um, and again, the center the center of this is uh, going to be about six feet of headroom. We got small little. I believe that's about a 20 inch Vizio LCD television with a DVD player. That's on kind of a little bit of a swivel mount. And here is that. It's a twin size bed. A neat little space right here. Um, and um, again, um, other than that four foot uh, clearance for this beam kind of right here uh, near the foot of the bed, you've got uh, just over five feet of headroom down at uh, uh, essentially both uh, edges where that railing is and, um, and the other corner of that. Again, six foot peak uh, ceiling in the, uh, in the center there. So as long as that stays over five feet, then all that is going to count as as usual square footage it's just it's just going to be the space occupied underneath that beam that would be excluded we're going to pull this on down this is raised for a reason i'll show you that here in a few so now this is going to be um i, I should also point out we've got it we've got a doorway on each of these uh, bedrooms right here it's going to be the back bedroom let me walk it back a little bit more so we got um a four, little four-step ladder and uh, no railing on this one this was and um, this is a king-size bed right here or essentially it's two twin size beds uh, pushed together to give you to give you a uh, king space no railing here but uh, you do have uh, five feet of headroom uh, basically from that far uh, corner all the way over here to the edge of this one let me step up here give you a little bit better view Kind of pan back here. So here's that king size walk around bed. Now here's those other two uh, stereo speakers that I made reference to earlier. Got a small little hanging closet. And it's going to be another LG 8000 BTU capacity window AC unit that's uh, essentially a, a big wall mounted. Very, um, I think, a uh, very neat use of space in this one. So we've got the um, the two um, convertible sofas or futons in the uh, kind of the front living room near that covered patio area, and then a twin bed, and then a king bed, and uh, both in uh, small little loft bedrooms. So now. The reason uh, these bedrooms do have this raised surface is we've got a little integrated boat slip. So this one, um, this floating cabin would actually be probably one of a few uh, true boat houses um, here on Norris Lake. And now you can see those uh, fully encapsulated styrofoam floats. Those happen to be made by uh, Eagle floats. And that is uh, that does meet the requ the flotation requirement. Now there are a handful of other requirements uh, that are all getting phased in for the floating cabins here on Norris Lake. Uh, the big ticket item um, is is that uh, all the flotate uh, any any unencapsulated styrofoam has to be replaced by the year 2031. So this already checks that box right there. You've got the fully encapsulated styrofoam floats. Um, now we've got. Um, we'll, we'll go back to that topic in a second. Let me let me go back to the boat slip here. This is about eight foot three inches wide. Um, it is about 21 and a half feet long. That's going to take you to the uh, to essentially where the bottom of this little um, canvas screen uh, will drop down. That's going to be about 21 and a half feet of of length. Eight foot um, eight feet three inches wide, 
and we're gonna have a, a bridge clearance that's gonna be the height from the water line up to the ceiling. It's gonna be about, um, I believe it's about four feet, 11 inches, so about 58 inches of clearance here. And we've got a 10 gallon water heater uh, for the cabin over there in that corner of our boat slip. And then you can also see um, about the center of the frame now, just below the deck there, that's gonna be your waste holding tank. And that is a 125 gallon waste holding tank. Now, um, the other uh, requirement um, for the floating cabins are the requirements. Um, all the electrical has to be inspected by the state. You've got till October of 2024 to have that completed. I don't think this one's had the electrical inspection done, uh, but if it does get done uh, before we sell it, uh, we will update that on the listing. And then um, gray water has to start being collected. Uh, current deadline for that is also October of 2024. Now that deadline is going to, to get extended. Uh, we, and at the time of this video, we do not have uh, what that new deadline is going to be, but that is going to get extended because that was that was basically new new information as of January of 2023. So TVA is is um, again it will be uh, will be granted an extension on that requirement. Um, so what that essentially means is, is right now every every cabin on the lake should have already been collecting their toilet water, which is your black water, um, and that's feeding into that 125 gallon uh, waste holding tank. So what's going to have to be added between now and then is possibly some um, a, a, another tank or uh, or two uh, for a gray water collection. Now this one is on um, again connected to a walkway. Um, but um, but at some point, your all your sinks and showers will need to get um, diverted from going in the lake, uh, which your gray water has has previously been allowed to to go into the lake. Um, these um, as as any boat, any any uh, boat, at least in our area, any houseboat. Um, or, or cruise or any other kind of boat, as long as it's being used by, uh, for recreational purposes, is going to be allowed through the federal boating uh, laws, is allowed to discharge their gray water under, under normal operation. Um, again, for a recreational use boat, uh, different, different set of requirements for, commercially bo for commercial boats, but recreational boats um, are federally permitted to discharge their gray water um, into reservoirs such as Norris Lake right here. Um, but again, as of January 2023, TVA has, um, in, in combination with TDEC, has created a new uh, requirement for the floating cabins to start um, collecting their gray water discharge. So, um, so for a lot of cabins, that's going to be larger tanks, um, and, and of course, that to meet that requirement, that's going to look very different depending on what, what marina you're located at connect it to a walkway or not uh, but anyway there's another look at that 10 gallon water heater and I think we've seen enough of our little boat slip right here we'll go ahead and close this so sorry wakeboard boats that's not gonna fit you pontoon boats that's not gonna fit you either small little runabout fishing boats that's gonna be a great option for you Slide that bar still back in place. All right. So I think we've we've probably seen what we need to see on the interior here. Twenty thousand BTU heating capacity through a um, wall mount propane heater. Sixteen thousand BTU cooling capacity through a pair of wall mount AC units. Ten gallon water heater. 125 gallon waste holding tank. I'm gonna use this side entry exit door. And we've got a nice little canvas awning right over top of that doorway here. We've got some freshly stained lumber on the exterior. It looks like we've got uh, like a PVC board up here for your railing. Now this is a small little storage closet right here. This is about uh, 20 square feet of a, of a outside storage closet. So this does not count towards your interior square footage. That is essentially the back of the shower um, right there in the center of the frame now. And um, now most of the items in here, water toys, fishing equipment, things like that are being excluded. 
uh, but just trying to show you the storage space right here. Get a little uh, cabinet overhead and some hanging rods for life jackets and things of that nature. Walkway does go all the way back to uh, to essentially where the uh, entry point of that little boat slip is. We've got a uh, small little swim boarding ladder right here. Uh, we've get, we've got um, essentially a little uh, little bridge going over top of that boat slip. And here's a look, another look inside of this this boat slip. And then again, that's that canvas awning that I made reference to. I don't know, I've shown you in there. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down and kind of let that fall down into place so you can kind of see um that's going to kind of close that area off protect your boat if, if that's what you've got in there it's got some nice rub rail around the edging of the dock here i'm going to go ahead and go up this there's a small crack in this uh in this window back here in the uh the master bedroom so i'm not sure if you're able to see that there's that FC number. This means that it is registered with TVA. Of course, here's the back side of that, that AC unit. Here's a look at your uh, your roofing right here. I believe these are aluminum uh, roofing panels and uh, aluminum siding panels. Bear with me here. Step down the other side. And a few more fenders over here on this side. That's gonna be a vent for your waste holding tank right there. That little PVC pipe coming up through the floor right there. And then there's your um, your propane tank. That's 100 100 pound uh, propane tank. There's your gas line going in. Um, and that should be going in feeding toward the uh, to the stove and that that wall mount heat unit. Actually, uh, this one right here is probably gonna be going underneath the uh, the deck there, going to the stove on this side. Um, and then this other one there is going to be going to that wall mount unit. So where it goes below the floor there, that's where it's going to that oven. All right, going on around the corner here, we're going to be back to where we started with this nice covered patio here. Ceiling fan overhead, picnic table, two stainless gas grills, uh, these two nice large storage lockers. Again, a great little mix of uh, out, outside and inside storage. I know the ceiling fan over here in this little uh, covered overhang. Most of these cabins, this is this is where you're spending your time at anyway. And um, we got a small little four person. It's a 1989. Um, I believe it's a leisure. Oh, what was this one? A, a, a leisure time uh, four person paddle boat. It's going to be available to go with this one um, and then i'm just going to show you inside this shed here again this is about a five foot by 12 foot um, storage shed most everything in here will be excluded but there is a wash and dryer hookup right over here so you got the uh the dryer vent you got 220 plug and uh you've got um plumbing connections right there that that uh plumbing has been ran from looks like over in this corner of the cabin a little um breaker panel in here as well again contents in here uh, not included uh, this built-in shelf will be staying but um, you know all the tools water toys things of that nature are all going to be excluded wash and dryer hookup will remain obviously um, and of course that uh, that washer and dryer um, consideration for that that uh, will add to your gray water demands if you do uh, do have a washer dryer hookup so that's something to take into consideration but you would certainly have the option here with this one. So again, this is gonna to start to wrap things up for this one. Again, this is about a 610 square feet floating cabin. Um, that does not count the, um, oh, what do we have over here? About um, about 60 square feet over here in this storage shed of, of, of actual interior space. Um, but yeah, I think, it, I think we're about um, 609, or 609.8 uh, on, um, on your cabin living space over here and uh, you can see that 4b number that's where this one was originally a, a 4b registered floating cabin um, now as of uh, what as of December 2016 4b's no, no, no longer uh, mean anything everything's FC number now FC stands for floating cabin um, and a whole set whole new set of uh, of, um, of regulations and 
identifying numbers and all that nature. So uh, again, uh, nice rub rails here, some cleats along the way, and there's more of those uh, encapsulated floats. We'll have a few aerial shots of this one as well, kind of around uh, the slip here, so you can kind of get a better view of um, of the actual property. And, and, and one last time, this one is connected to a marina walkway. And there's your path over there to shoreline right over there. So again, this one can't stay. This slip is, is transferable. This is actually in a double slip right now. Um, We've got uh, basically the side docks in one slip and the, and the, uh, the main cabins in another. Um, that's going to start to wrap things up. Again, uh, reach out to us through our website with any additional questions. As this does conclude, you're going to see uh, two things come up over top of your uh, video screen. Top left-hand corner is going to be a shortcut to our current listings playlist that's going to show you all of a video tour for every listing that we currently have available so if you're not wanting to leave youtube but you're trying to see everything that we do have i would highly recommend uh towards the end of this video when that uh, current listings playlist uh shortcut pops up the top left hand corner click that it's going to take you right to our playlist that's going to be every every listing we currently have available top right hand corner is going to be a shortcut to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already that's a great way to get notified anytime anything new gets listed in the area. And um, that's going to be all for today. So again, um, this is the website. Use that direct link down in the video description for your convenience to get over there to the web listing page for this one. And do reach out to us with any questions or to schedule your own viewing of this one. Here's your kind of good look now of both that uh, main cabin and the attached float here with the storage unit on it. And again, if you haven't, uh, if haven't already subscribed, please feel free to uh, click that um, subscribe link, top right hand corner of the video as this concludes. I thank you again for joining us. This, this concludes the roughly 610 square foot floating cabin for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters of North Lake, Tennessee. Thank you again for joining us.